This is Steve from SewingGold.com. We're going to give you a short lesson on a T111155. Uh, the first thing we're going to show you is how to wind the bobbin. So we're going to take the spool of the thread from there. Now wait one sec. Now if you see the nylon thread sometimes uh, travels down the spool and it could get caught underneath. You got to make sure that your thread um, is touching the bottom here because if it's sticking up the thread can get caught underneath and then it'll get really tight and you could break the thread. Okay, so now we're going to make sure that we start threading the bottom properly. Okay, so we're going to go through there and then under. And you've got to make sure you get it in between these two discs really good. So if it's not through the discs, um, just make sure. Because if it's sitting on top of the discs, you're not going to get the proper tension. Okay, so now we're going through the bobbin. Turn the machine on and I'll make sure that you engage it, but also you want to put the foot in the up position. So you want to take your presser foot and make sure it's in the up position, unless you're uh, sewing at the same time. You could sew at the same time, otherwise remove the thread from the needle. Go ahead. Okay, so you're going to hold on to that. You could snip it or it'll come off on its own eventually. Okay, so now if the bobbin is when it winds and if it pops like you only have a little amount of thread and it pops already Just tighten this piece down So you're going to tighten this screw and it'll bend this piece and allow more thread on the bobbin If there's too much thread coming on the bobbin, then you want to loosen this piece Okay, and then also back here This piece can be moved side to side There's a screw here and then this can be moved side to side if your bobbin is winding unevenly, you can move it side to side to make it even. Okay? So now the next thing we're going to do is wind the, or not wind, uh, thread the bobbin case first, show the bobbin case. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way the, the thread goes in the bobbin case, counterclockwise or clockwise. Put the bobbin in, go, go slow. Jose, let me just zoom in on you. Wait one sec before you do that. Don't do that. Hold on one sec. Let it zoom in. Okay, go ahead. Through the slot and then out there. Do it one more time. Through the slot and through the clip. Okay? And then we'll push the machine back. Push it back, will you? To show you how to put the bobbin in. Now, taking it out and putting it in are two different things. When you put it back, see how hold, Jose's holding the entire bobbin case? And it is in the high position. And the needle like Jose said, in the highest position. Make sure you hear that click. Okay, so when you remove it, show them how to remove it. Use that, that finger that comes off there, that clip. You don't put it back the same way, otherwise it won't lock into place. So when you put it back, hold it like the entire bobbin case, and then hear the click. Okay, and now you know it's in. Also, make sure that this thread, you've probably got about four to six inches of thread, and it's hanging off to the left side of the bobbin case. Okay, now you're going to put the th uh, machine down. Okay, and then we're going to thread the machine now. So now we're going to use the other spool, the one on the left. Same thing, make sure that your, your spool is all the way down touching. You see how there's thread on the bottom there, and if that gets caught underneath, you could break the, uh, the thread when it goes through the needle and starts pulling. It'll just get real taut and it'll break. Go ahead. You can go through one, two, or all three if you want on this. But this is important. You definitely want to go through both of those holes. You go over this. This is a pre-tensioner. It's not a tension, so you don't have to tighten it or loosen it. Make sure you go through those little discs and then down through that hole. Okay? Now the next step is important to make sure that your, your presser foot is in the up position. You're going to go under and over that check spring. So you're going under the tension through the discs and then over the check spring. The check spring is that piece that's moving up and down. This is your check spring. Then you're going to go under this L bracket. We're going to come back up through this thread guide. Now through the take up lever which is all the way at the top. And then back down to that following thread guide. Through the other thread guide above the needle. And then there's that hole above the needle, which is important to thread. And then you're going to thread your machine from left to right. Okay, and if I zoom in, 
you can see there's like a little cutout. Let me try and get as steady as possible. There's a little cutout at the bottom of the needle, and that's always to the inside, to the right. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the hand wheel one whole turn until this take-up lever goes all the way back up. And then Jose is going to pull the thread, and then you're ready to sew. Go ahead. Let's just show a couple more things I've done. So. Okay, another thing I want to show you is the uh, changing the stitch. When we change the stitch here, you push this button in, you turn this. I'm just doing it by one with one hand. Or actually, Jose, could you do that? So when you turn it, you could do it with both hands, it's fine. So when you do it, you gotta make sure that once you turn that, you hear it click. Don't sew unless you hear that click. Okay, you wanna make sure that that's in uh, the proper um, stitch length. Because if not, it could technically move. And then this is your reverse. Now it's working and winding at the same time. Oh, there you go. Go ahead, do that, Jose. Go ahead and sew. So now we're sewing and winding the bobbin at the same time. Thanks. So as you can see, he's sewing while we're winding the bobbin. Okay, and that's your basic lesson on uh, T111155. Um, if you have any other questions or if you need another video made, just give us a call, 888-505-4565. I'm Steve, this is Jose, and uh, we're from SewingGold.com. Thank you.